Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. On this episode, I'm going to introduce to you a shrine in Kaushan city known as Khaja Tajaddin, which is located on Fazal Naraghi street next to the Agha Buzurg mosque. This place dates back to 700 years ago. Primarily remnants of this structure relate to Saljuri dynasty, but the ceilings relate to Ilkhanan, the Mongolian dynasty. This place is named after its patron who was famous as Khaja Tajaddin. He was from Shirvan, a city in Mashhad, one of the provinces of Iran. At that time he was a vizier of Jahan Shah, Qaraghuyunlu, a king who was ruling over Iran. When Khaja Tajaddin traveled to Mecca city, he met one of the famous Ayatollahs of this city. He has resigned from his position already and decided to come to Kashan city. When he found a treasure there, he decided to spend some of that money on building a shrine for people that would be a place for settling passengers temporarily as well. This place has two magnificent domes made out of bricks. In the eastern part, Mullah Muhammad Hassan Qutbi and his grandchildren are buried. In the western part, there is a mausoleum in which two grandchildren of Imam Musa Qasim, the seventh leader of Shia sect, are buried. In 1778, many buildings in Kaushan were annihilated by a devastating earthquake and some part of this place was destroyed. But fortunately, it was renovated during different eras and was recorded in the list of cultural heritage organization. The interior side of the domes is decorated with Quran verses as an auspicious sign for people who are visiting this place and a prayer for the late person to rest in peace. Domes are considered consecrated part in Shia sect. Having a lofty ceiling doubles down the beauty of this part. I should mention that these domes are perforated to work as a skylight during the day and create a natural air circulation in the whole building. In each corner you can see special motifs on the walls with geometrical designs made out of plaster to show the uniqueness of Iranian architecture. There are several murals on some part of the walls that shows Prophet Muhammad and other Shia leaders during wars. A cubical mausoleum that is decorated with green lights and clothes with calligraphy art sewn on them. Green lights are always used in sacred places because people believe that it gives a serene mood to visitors. In the past, architects built the roof in a way to have a mild arch form to avoid accumulation of water from precipitation. Aside from that, the arch form increases the durability of the roof and makes it stronger to endure the pressure. Doors are made out of wood and hefty to protect the building from intruders. Each door has two doorknobs, one of them looks like a ring and has a high sound that was used by women and another one has a low sound and was used by men. This place has several booths for showing and selling handicrafts. There are native clothes, beautiful tiles, poetic books, decorative clay dishes, bags, mirrors and wooden artifacts that you can buy as souvenir. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Let me know your opinion in the comment section and if you like please subscribe to my channel and wait for new videos.